All right, everybody, welcome to class. This is uh, going to be a uh, beginning uh, reading hour. And uh, we are going to be focusing on our reading comprehension. Um, so reading comprehension, uh, when you read something, we'll go back and answer questions. Uh, also, when we, uh, when we read through, if you have any questions about what a word means or how or why we use it, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, go through and, and, and attempt to the best of my ability to explain what it is okay, and how we use it. Okay? Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. If you do not have the link, it looks like, uh, um, looks like uh, Verbling Chat is uh, working again. So I'll go ahead and put the link in the chat box. Okay. And go ahead and open that up. We'll be uh, doing some reading and answering of questions. All right. Let's uh, see who we have so far. Uh, uh, Irfan, how are you? Hi. I am fine. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, Irfan, where are you from? From Turkey. From Turkey. Awesome. Yeah. Well, good to have you here. What? Uh, good to have you here. Welcome to class. I don't know very good English. Uh, it's okay. All right. It's okay. Welcome to class. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Uh, Edem, how are you? Fine. You? I'm doing very good. Welcome back to class. How are you Hi. today? Is everything good? Yes, I'm good. Great. Great. Well, welcome back. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have uh, Erkan. How are you? Yes, I am fine. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And uh, Erkan, where are you from? Yeah, I am from Turkey. Turkey, from Turkey as well. From so Ankara. We have three people. Three people yeah. from Turkey. So yeah. uh, Irfan is from Turkey. Uh, Edem is from yeah. uh, Turkey, and you are yes. as well. Great. Great. Well, welcome, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, how about uh, Elsa? Hi, Elsa. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great. Uh, Elsa, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. El Salvador. Excellent. And what part of El Salvador? San Salvador, the capital. Great, yeah. I've uh, I've been to San Salvador many times. I really? used to uh, I used to fly into San Salvador and go to uh, uh, places like Mundo Feliz with my with my kids and uh, kids. Let's see, uh huh, and uh, La Gran Via as well as ah, the uh, Gran Plaza. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. Those are the places I would go. Excellent. Okay. Well, welcome to class. It's good Thanks. to have you here. Thanks. Okay. How about uh, Gaetano? How are you? Hi, all. I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Uh, Gaetano, where are you from? I'm from Italy and I'm, I'm an engineer. Excellent. Uh, good to have you here. Thank you. All right. I hope uh, I hope one day I get to go to Italy. That's one of my that's one of my dreams. I hope to go there one day. <laughs> you are welcome in Italy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see who else we have. Uh, Javier, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Thank you. Great. And uh, Javier, where are you from? I am from Spain. From Spain. Great. Excellent. And what do you do? Okay, I am working right now. Excellent. Uh, what kind of a job do you have? <laughs> I think you asked me this before. <laughs> I am working like human resource. Okay. Yeah, I I wondered that because I uh, your name is not a normal last name that I've seen, and so I figured, okay, I think I've seen this uh, this guy before, but I'm not exactly sure, so I'll ask. But anyway, welcome back yes. to class, Javier. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. Uh, how about uh, Mustafa? How are you? Hi. 
Hi. Hi, Mustafa. Welcome to Hi. class. Hi, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you very well. Fine. Great. Mustafa, where are um, you from? My microphone. Turkey. I am from Turkey. Great. So that's, uh, that's four students now from Turkey. That's excellent. Yes. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome to class, Mustafa. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right. How about uh, Osama? Hi. Hi, Osama. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. Uh, Osama, where are you from? Uh, from Egypt. Okay, from Egypt. Excellent. Excellent. Good to, good to have you here. Welcome, yes. welcome to class. Yes, thank you. All right, very good. And uh, we also have Yasin. How are you, Yasin? Hello again, teacher Chad. Uh, I... <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, Yasin, from what I remember, you are from Turkey as well, right? Yeah, 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 you are right. Yes. So we, now we have we have five students from Turkey in class. That's great. That's Excellent. Really good. Very good. Okay, so uh, everybody, my name is Teacher Chad. I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Okay, I've been in Costa Rica now for about uh, nine months. All right. Uh, I only speak two languages. I speak English and Spanish. I wish I knew more languages, but I only know the two right now. Okay. Uh, this hour we are going to be focusing on reading comprehension. All right. So we have uh, we have some basic stories. Okay. And each story has about nine to ten questions, or sorry, eight to ten questions that we'll read afterwards. Okay. And uh, and answer those questions. Okay, all right, so uh, let's start off. This here is the link. Please open up the link. It's in the, uh, it's in the chat box right now. Okay, so, ah, Halwani, you just came into class. How are you? Hello, sir, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. good. I, I just saw your, your note here in the uh, chat box. I was like, hey, Halwani's back. Awesome. Thank you. Great, well, Thank welcome. You. Okay, class. So uh, here in the Verbling chat, okay, if you see uh, uh, if you see my uh, my uh, my mouse, you want to click right here. See, this is me. This is Chad. That's me. You want to click on this link, and it will open up another page. All right. This is what the page will look like. We have our stories and the questions. All right. We're going to start on page number one. Okay, so please open up that page. All right, it's easier if you open the page because um, sometimes if you're looking at it at the page from my screen, it'll get blurry. All right, so uh, hi Sabri, how are you? All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and get started. And Yasin, we're going to start with you this hour. Okay, teacher. And <clears throat> first paragraph. Yep. Okay. So Yasin, uh, let me have you read um, about. Let's see. Yeah. Let me have you read uh, uh, this whole first paragraph, please. Okay, teacher. Planning our next vacation. My husband and and I have never taken a holiday together. We have wanted to take wanted. Uh, to take a holiday for a long time, but have never had the same holiday schedule. Next month, we have two weeks of work, so we are trying to plan a vacation. Uh, I, want, I want to go to Hawaii, but my husband was already been to Hawaii. He wants to go skiing in Vermont. He has never skied before. I don't like skiing. I have skied three times in my life, but I don't think uh, I want to do it again. I'm afraid of hate and don't want to ride the gondola. gondola. That's a gondola. Gondola. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Osama. 
uh, let me have you please continue and uh, read. Uh, let's see. <coughs> let me have you read till here, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. This moment. Uh, my husband also wants to go uh, camping, but I have already gone camping twice this year. He grew up in the city and has never spent much time in the woods. I grew up in the country and have gone camping every year since I was 12 years old. I want to go somewhere. I have never been before. We both want to go on a cruise. My husband has been on a cruise before. He went to the Caribbean. He had a good time, but we want to go somewhere unusual. Neither good. of us. Just tell there. Just tell there. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Let me have Mustafa. Mustafa, please continue. Uh, with neither of us to the end. Okay. Neither of us has been to Alaska, so we thought of taking a cruise in Glacier Bay. That is definitely an unusual vacation, and there are so many unusual things to see. I have never seen whales before, and my husband has never seen icebergs. We have never hiked along glaciers. We have both decided that an Alaskan cruise is the best idea for our vacation. Great. Okay. Thank you. All right, class. Uh, please take a look at this story and let me know if there are any words you do not understand. Okay. Do you have any questions about what we just read? Sorry. Just uh, the meaning of uh, shuttle. Okay, uh, shuttle. Um, where where are you looking? The first paragraph. Uh, first second okay, line. First, second line. Oh, uh, schedule. Schedule. Okay. Um, schedule is a is a word where you're talking about. Usually, you, the hours that you work and the weeks that you work. Okay, here they are talking about a holiday schedule. Um, in some some cases, you get two weeks, two weeks off a year. Okay, and that would be called a holiday. Okay, where you go on holiday. All right. Some people have. I know in Spain they have. I think up to four weeks per year yes. and uh, and that's uh, that's everybody okay everybody gets up to four weeks off per year all right so that would be the holiday that is a holiday schedule okay so what she's saying is that she takes her her holiday weeks in a different time okay at a different time of the year so they're not on the same schedule they don't take them at the same time does that make sense Halwani yes yes okay good great question any other questions class uh, is uh, this gondola equal to uh, balloon basket uh, yes it would be a a, a a basket okay or a a, 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 a chair that would ride up a mountain that's filled with uh, like a snowy mountain. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let me see if I can get a good picture for you. All right, so uh, let me let me show you here. Okay, um, so you see here on this picture. Okay, these are going to be called gondolas as well as these. Okay, so there, there's a difference. There's the small ones that a person can ride on. Then you have the really big ones here. Okay, okay th those would be gondolas as well. Okay, great question. Um, and that is this word here, gondola. Okay, um, now uh, in, are there any other questions?
I know. I was about to say that, uh, Gaetano, that a gondola in, in Italy is a, is a boat. Typical boat. Uh, yeah. Manette. Yeah, that's why when I, uh, when I went to look up the word, I put snow gondola. Because if I just put gondola, <laughs> it would bring up a boat in more than likely the ones in Italy. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, in Venice. Okay. Uh, can I ask you what is the meaning of uh, uh, Chris? And uh, he could. Uh, where where are you at? Uh, so we are on the, the. I'm trying to search. Second paragraph. Uh, oh, okay. Cruise. Cruise. Okay. Uh, fifth row of the second paragraph, and uh, um, not the last uh, row of the second paragraph. We have never hiked along glaciers. Great question. Okay, so let me uh, let me uh, get a, uh, a a good picture for you. So okay, here you see you. I put snow gondola. Okay, here I'm going to put Alaskan cruise. Okay, now an Alaskan cruise will let you see glaciers. All right, so this is a cruise. You see this boat? Okay, yeah. That is a cruise ship. Now, let's take a look right here. You see these that look like they are ice, these mountains that look like they're ice? Okay, those are called glaciers. You see how it's ice. Back there, those are mountains, but these here, these are called glaciers. Do you see that? Glaciers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a glacier is a mountain that is made entirely of ice. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Great. Great question. Okay, any other questions, class? Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and move on. Okay? Um Okay, and hiked um Gaetano, hiked would mean to walk along walk along the glaciers so walk beside or walk along the glaciers okay all right let's uh, let's see here so question number one okay this is for uh, Javier Javier please read question number one and give me your answer okay uh, have my husband and I ever taken a holiday together and the answer is no they never take a holiday together. Good. No, they never take a holiday together. Excellent job. Now, uh, um, Javier, the word answer, okay? Uh, the W, sorry, the W is silent. Uh, so we don't say answer. The word is answer. Let me have you repeat that, please. Answer. Answer. Good, nice job. That was excellent. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's go to uh, Irfan. Yeah. Irfan, question yeah. number two. Please read this question and give me your answer. When do we plan to go on a vacation together? Okay. Okay. So when do we plan? to go on a vacation together. Let's see. Okay, one minute. No, I don't see. Okay. Um, right here. Go ahead and, and read this sentence. Okay. Uh, please read that sentence out loud. But Okay, uh, this sentence is, next month we both have two weeks, okay, two weeks off work. So we, we're trying to plan a vacation. All right, so uh, our answer here, we're looking at next month. Next month. Right now, we are in the month of of. Of um, uh, let's see, we're in April, okay? 
April. What month comes after April? Okay, April, May. April, May comes after April. So May would be next month. It's the following month. Okay, so Irfan, let's go. Let's go down here. What? All right. So um, when? When we're we're looking for a period of time. When? When do they do they plan to go on a vacation together? Okay. They plan to go on a vacation together next month. Oh. Okay. Now, uh, Irfan, Irfan, do you know what the word month means? Okay, all right. Well, uh, our answer here would be next month, okay? Um, all right, let's go to Halwani. Halwani, let me have you uh, read uh, question number three, please. Okay. Which of us has already been to Hawaii? Uh, her husband uh, uh, went uh, to Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. Good, good. And I like how you used the past tense of to go. Class, did you hear that? Okay, past tense would be went. Okay, her husband went, went to Hawaii. Okay, great job, Halwani. Okay, went. Okay, past tense, that happened already. Okay, uh, let's let's go to uh, Erkan. Yes. All right, uh, question Qu number four. Qu uh, question four: Has my husband ever skied before? No, that would be uh, skied. Skied. Uh, skied before. Uh, answer: uh, He ha has never skied before. Okay, good. So he has never skied before. He has. Uh, he has never skied before. Yeah, awesome. He has never skied before. Remember, okay, good. All right, thank you very much, Erkan. All right, let's uh, let's go to uh, Elsa. Elsa, yes. question number five, please. Okay, do I want to go camping? Why or why not? No, she doesn't want because she has gone to the camping before okay so yes that's good so uh, instead of she has gone to the camping we say she After. has because mm -hmm. because uh, she has already okay. gone camping okay. this okay. year okay since so, she she was to uh, since she was 12, I think, years old. Yes. Yes, she has gone camping every year. Okay. Okay. But, but our answer here is, uh, does she want to go camping? Um, no, she doesn't because she has already gone camping. Uh, and I think it may even be twice this year. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so um, my husband wants to go camping, but I've already gone camping twice this year. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is why she does not want to go camping. She has already gone camping twice. She this has year. already gone. Okay. Good, good, excellent. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, question number six. And this is for uh, Justin. Okay, teacher. Uh, number six. Uh, has my husband ever been on a cruise? Uh, her husband. Uh, her husband. Uh, maybe uh, joined uh, two cruise cruise before. Uh, 
join it is it is true or uh, um, the one? Uh, we would use the word the verb to uh, be on so my husband has been on a cruise before okay has only, has been on or if, uh, can we say only has been or another uh, yes so so um, he only okay he has it would be uh, he has only been okay okay thank you thank you teacher okay and so we would say but if we say only we would have to to uh, uh, give a number so has only been on one cruise before mm -hmm. only been on one okay. okay good excellent job Yasi mm -hmm. all right let's uh, let's go to uh, Sabri Sabri you made it in hi how are you hi hi how are you I'm doing great <laughs> Sabri let, let me have you read question number seven and give me your answer has eight of us been to Alaska? Uh, he has. Uh, okay. How about right, right here? Okay. Ha ah, ha ha! Near us, near of us, has been to Alaska, so we touch of. Taken or cross in uh, closer by. Good, yeah. So they are thinking of taking a cruise in in Glacier Bay. Yeah, clear, either of us it. have been. Good. Has been. It has been. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. you okay. Um, number eight. Uh, this is for uh, Osama. Question number eight, please. Hello, can you guys hear me? Okay, I think, okay, it should be working. Now. All right, uh, uh, Osama, uh, question number eight, please. Yes. Mm, question number eight. Uh, why do we want to go to Glacier Bay? Okay, that would be Glacier. Glacier Bay. Uh, because it is an unusual vacation. Ah, yes, because it is an unusual vacation. vacation. Okay, good job. An unusual vacation. Excellent. All right, uh, question number nine. Who is my next uh, reader? Uh, this is uh, Mustafa. Uh, number nine, please. Have I ever seen waves before? Mm. Uh, they have never seen whales before. Good. Yes, and that word would be whales. 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 Thanks. Whales. Good. Good. Yes. Uh, so, class, the trick to words that start with a W. Okay, is to start off with an oo sound. Instead of a v sound, we start with an oo sound. Oo ales, whales. Okay? That's whales. the trick to uh, two W words. Okay? Excellent job, Mustafa. Whales. All whales. right, let's Thanks. go to Javier. Okay. Javier, question 10, please. Has my husband ever seen a Bergs before? Uh, no, uh, her husband never seen, never have seen. Has never, uh, has never. Have never seen icebergs before. Okay, good. Yes, my husband has never seen icebergs before. Great job. Thank you, Javier. Okay, so we have our answers to uh, both those last two, right? here. Oh, if it'll work for me. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Um, great job, everybody. Uh, any questions? Any questions for me so far? 
All right, let's go to, okay, our next story. I'm very stressed. Okay, stressed. Now, remember, class, when we have a word, okay, our root word is stress. If we put an ED ending at the end, okay, and it ends with an S, that, that ED sounds like a T. So this word is not stressed. The word is stressed, stressed. Okay? All right, let's see, uh, let's see who we have. We're going to probably do about three readers here. Uh, let's start off with, oh, Irkan took off. He was my next reader. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, I'm going to have Halwani, uh, Irkan and uh, Elsa read. So we'll start off with Halwani first. And Halwani, let me have you read. Uh, let's see, until... Oh, that may be a little too much. Halwani, let me have you read until this uh, this sentence here, okay? Okay. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. It has been a very busy week. And I have been fallen behind schedule at work. It was supposed to have finished typing a letter for my boss by th this morning, but I haven't even started yet. I have a meeting this afternoon with an important client, but I haven't prepared yet. Tomorrow I have to give a speech at our annual conference, but I haven't started, started writing yet. I haven't even decided what to write about. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go to Erkan. Yes. And have... Erkan, uh, let me have you read until uh, work. Okay? Okay. I have come up with a few ideas, but I am scared it will be too similar to the speech that was given last year. Each time I start to write, the phone rings. No, I have stopped answering the phone, phone because I can't get any work done with the interruptions. I haven't even eaten my lunch yet, but I haven't got time to go buy a sandwich. I have already cancelled two meetings for tomorrow because I am so behind in my work. Excellent. Okay, Elsa, uh, please finish off the rest of this story. Okay. I have to go with the sketch to those meetings for a later in the When I go home this evening, I will still have work to do. I have to buy groceries because we have eaten almost everything in the house. Also, for the last three days, I haven't, I have forget, forgotten to mail a very important letter. I will have to mail it, mail it tonight. I can wait until next week when I will be less busy. Excellent. Thank you very much, and welcome to class, Chris. All right. Okay. So, class, are there any words in this story? that you do not understand. If there are, please let me know. Okay, no questions. Everyone is, is good to go. We, we understand all of these words. No, I have one that I don't understand. Okay. It's uh, groceries. Ah, good. Okay, so groceries, we were down here at the bottom, right? So gr groceries. Okay. Uh, groceries are uh, food. Okay. Um, let's see. Food from the store. Okay. So uh, you would go to what would be called a grocery store. Okay, to buy groceries. All right, and groceries are going to be your your meat, your vegetables, noodles, rice. Okay, anything that that you eat. Okay, anything that you eat that would be groceries. Okay, 
Um, uh, other things that you, you could buy would then be uh, household household items. Those would be like, like soap, okay, soap to wash your hands, okay, cleaning supplies. Those would be household items. Those are not groceries. Groceries are food. Okay, okay. great question. Uh, any other questions, class? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, yes, Ergan, what is your question? Uh, uh, don't understand. Uh, I have come up with uh, ideas. Come up with, uh, I think, a uh, phrasal verb, but I don't understand. Um, okay, what, uh, what line are you at? Uh, one, two, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Six, okay, seven. I have come up. Yes, good. That is a uh, that is a phrasal verb. Yes, I have come up. Okay, with a few ideas. All right. So I have come up with a few ideas means to think of new ideas. Okay. <laughs> To think of new ideas, okay. That's that's what come up with, okay. Come up with, all right. Those are new ideas or something to do, things like that, okay. So if I if I uh, if we have a story to write, okay, I may say and uh, and Erkan, you and yes. I are working together, and I say Erkan, have yes. you come up with any ideas? You may say yes. Uh, maybe we can write a story about this or that. Those would be your ideas towards a product, okay, or towards a project, okay. Come up, come up with ideas or thoughts. Ideas, okay. Okay, those would be thoughts. Okay, good question. Yes, that is a phrasal verb. All right, and uh, any other questions? <laughs> Nope, no other questions. Okay, fabulous. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go to our our questions here. And uh, Chris, yes. Let me have you read question number one and answer the question. Mm. Why am I so stressed? Okay, why would the person be so stressed? What why? do you think? Um, a ver. ¿Por qué estoy? Um, because he has a very busy, busy week. Good. And what else? Mm -hmm. Ah, and okay. he... He was fall? No, he, he has fallen. Yes, he, he, has. he has. Good. Fallen behind schedule at work. Good. Yes, so uh, he has had a very busy week and he has fallen behind mm -hmm. at work. Excellent. That's great. Okay, uh, let's go to Yasin. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Uh, number right. two, uh, how I started? Uh, typing the letter for my boss yet? Uh, no, he haven't. Uh, but uh, he he was supposed to uh, have finished typing uh, a letter uh, for uh, his boss uh, in the morning. Yes, uh, very good. Now, instead but, instead of saying no, he haven't with a V. We would need to say has, hasn't. No, he hasn't. Okay, okay. No, he hasn't. Good, like that. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. No, he hasn't. Okay, okay excellent. Sorry, sorry. Excellent oh, job. Yes, yes, you are right, teacher. Uh, sorry. Excellent. Thank you, Yasin. Excellent job. Let's go to uh, Sabri. Sabri, question number three, please. Okay. Have I uh, prepared it for my uh, meeting yet? Uh, uh, 
he he has uh, he has even started yet. Okay, I uh, let's see. Um, okay, uh, very close. Let me have you read this sentence right here. He has started yet. Uh, you you have a meeting afternoon. This this afternoon. And then it I'm says. Uh, yes, it says that he has a meeting this afternoon. Okay, but he hasn't prepared yeah. yet. Prepared yet? Okay. Yeah. So um, on this other one. Um, he needed to finish a letter, but he has not started the letter yet. Okay, and then he has a meeting this afternoon, but he hasn't prepared for it yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, my let's, son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go to uh, Mustafa. And Mustafa, let's uh, go to uh, question number four, please. Number four, yes. Have I started writing my speech for the conference tomorrow? Mm. Mm. No, he hasn't started writing yet. All right, yeah, he has not started writing it yet. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, there's our answer right there. Very good. Uh, how about uh, question number five? And this is for, uh, let's see, uh, did I skip over Osama? I did, didn't I? Yes. Uh, Osama, I, I apologize, I skipped right over you. Uh, Osama, number five, please. Uh, why is it taking me so long to write the speech? All right, let's uh, let's go up and we'll find I out. Try. Okay, I I try. Okay, so let's see. Um. Okay, so he is he is trying to write a speech for the conference. Okay, let me have you read uh, this sentence here. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and and read this. Uh, sorry, this uh, this sentence right here, please. I haven't uh, even decided what to write about. I have come up with a few ideas, but I am scared it will be too similar to the speech that was given last year. Good. So here he is saying um, he has thought of a few ideas, but they are. Too similar, okay. Similar means the same. Yes. Okay, the same, similar, meaning the same. So he he has thought up ideas, but they're too similar to the ideas that people had last year, and so he doesn't know what to do. Okay, so that's a, that's the reason. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank let's uh, let's go to. Javier, mm -hmm. okay. and uh, what are we on? Number six, five or six, something like that. Um, six. Six, please. Yeah. Uh, have I eaten my land yet? Uh, he has not eaten his land. And why hasn't he eaten his lunch yet? <laughs> uh, because uh, he hasn't. Got time? Yeah, he he hasn't got time, or he doesn't have enough time. Okay, good. Okay, um, how about number seven? Uh, Halwani, number seven, please. Why do I have to reschedule some meeting for later? <laughs> Let's see. 
because uh, uh, because uh, she just uh, she has she has uh, to uh, cancel two meeting yeah I canceled two meetings and uh, rescheduled those okay next so I have to week. reschedule those for next week next but week. This is the reason. What does this say right here, Hadwani? Because uh, she she is uh, behind, uh, so behind in, in her work. Okay, good. Now, being behind, okay, being behind on your work means to be to be late okay so I'm running behind okay running behind or I am behind on my work I'm late I won't finish things on time okay that's why they say um, I'm running behind or I am behind okay so that's that's the reason why he had to reschedule all right uh, thank you very much Halwani let's go to Erkan yes uh, question number eight can I relax at home this evening? Why or why not? He can't because he will have to work. Uh, yeah, because because uh, uh, when he goes home at night, he has work to do. Yes, he has work to do. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, let's go to uh, Elsa. And let's okay. see, Elsa, do we have questions left? What um, have I? Question number nine. Yes. What I have forgotten to do for the last three days? Well, he has forgotten to write or to mail a important letter. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yes, he has uh, uh, to mail. To mail. To mail. Okay. That means to send off. Okay. All right. Um, now, we don't really mail letters anymore. Uh, we send emails, right? So we, yes. we never go to the post office and send mail, okay? But uh, to mail uh, is uh, to send a letter, okay? To mail is to send a letter, okay? Excellent. All right, let's uh, let's go to Chris and uh, question number ten, please. Why can't I wait until next week? Why can I wait, friends? Because uh, because he will be busy. Okay, he will be. Less, less busy. Less. Okay. Now, less. Um, less, less means not as much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he will not be very busy. Okay. He'll have okay. work to do, but he won't have as much work, and he won't be running all over the place, being very busy. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, yes. class. Do you have any questions for me here? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, yes, Halwani. What is your question? Just uh, for uh, for to, uh, to mail. Just, um, we speak about uh, letter and the internet or any letter. Um, it would be a physical letter. Ah, okay. Physical. Yeah. yeah. To uh, to mail would be a physical letter. Now, if you are, are emailing, that would be to email, okay? And that would be a different, uh, that would be a different verb, okay? To email, okay? So yeah, if you if you are mailing something, that is a a physical letter, right? Uh, email is the email side, okay? Very good questions, uh, or question. Any other questions, you guys? No. 
Nope. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep rolling. We've got about uh, seven minutes left. Okay. So. Okay, Yuko, or sorry, Yuko, Yuko in Montreal. And let's see, we left off with uh, Chris. So let's, uh, who has not read so far? Excuse me? Um, uh, who has not read? Chris, I, have you read yet? I don't think Chris read. Read? Uh, read, I... to read. Have you have you read in the story yet? Um, I don't think Chris has. No. Um, uh, Mustafa, have you read? Yes. Okay, Javier, have you read? No. No, okay. And I know you got you three just did, and I don't think Savri has read. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start off with uh, with Chris, then Javier, and then Savri, okay? Okay. Uh, so, Chris, let me have you read uh, the first about five lines. Okay, so just tell, let's see, just tell right, uh, right there, please. Go ahead and read the first uh, about five or six lines, okay? Okay, read. Uh, Yuko moved to Montreal this year. She has lived in Montreal for about eight months. When she moved to Montreal from Tokyo, she was a little nervous and scared. But now she feels very comfortable, comfortable and knows the city well. Um, she has found a very nice apartment downtown, and it's not too expensive. She has found a job teaching Japanese, and she likes she likes it a lot. She also seen a lot of places and done a lot of things in Montreal. Excellent, Javier. Uh, let me have you continue reading until um, uh, let's see um, Saint Lawrence Street. Okay. Uh, for example, Yuko has been to Mount Royal. She has ridden on the metro. She's eating a Montreal bagel, and she's met a cute Montreal man. She's also learned a lot of friends and improved her English. She has made a lot of friends too. Some of her friends are from Montreal but some of them have recently moved to Montreal, just like Yuko. She has been to many bars and clubs on Street Laurent Street, St. Okay. Laurent Street. <laughs> there you go, yeah, St. Laurent Street, good, nice correction. Okay, and Sabri, uh, okay. let me have you uh, uh, finish off the story, please. Okay. She has even joined a jazz band and they often play in bars and uh, nightclubs. You, Yuko plays play, uh, piano in the bar. She has taken many photographs uh, of material size uh, she erred. She likes the brick, brickly painted house. She has uh, visited my uh, museums and art galleries. Uh, she has even survived uh, the cold Montreal winter. She has uh, fallen in love with the city and all its uh, serums. That would be charms. Ch charms. 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 Great. Okay, um, class, any questions about what we just read? I have one. Sure. A little nervous. A little nervous. Okay, what does yes. a little nervous mean? Um, and that is right here. Okay, now, do you know what the word nervous means? No. Okay, nervous. Nervous. Okay, uh, is to be uh, uh, maybe a little scared, okay, but it's less than scared. Okay, so for example, Mustafa, how would you feel? If you needed to speak, okay, speak in front of 15,000 people. Um, I understand. That is nervous. Yes. <laughs> that is nervous, okay? So you, <laughs> yes. you know what to do, okay? 
nervous, okay? A little nervous. Thanks. So Thanks. a little I nervous understand. is just a little bit. Great. Good question. Okay. Um, uh, any other questions, class? Uh, yes, Chris? Uh, yes, uh, downtown. A very nice apartment downtown is in the center town. Or? Uh, yes, that would be the the center of, of town. Uh, so, Chris, Chris, you live in uh, in uh, Barcelona, is that right? Mm, yes. Okay. Now you can live in the city. Okay, in the city down downtown. Okay, or you can live outside of town in the country. All right. Now okay. downtown is where you would have usually the uh, uh, the biggest the biggest buildings, the tallest buildings. Uh -huh. That uh, okay. that would mainly be the downtown. Okay. okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, any other questions? Uh, one yes. question. Uh, okay. Sure, Sabri. Uh, okay. Ch uh, charms. Uh, what is it? Uh, what charms mean? Okay. Charms. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, charms would be um, charms would be the uh, the things that are attractive. Okay. Okay. Uh, things that are attractive okay so okay. yeah so um, maybe there's a, a lot of beautiful rivers there there is uh, museums there's uh, the the uh, studios to go play music at so those would be the attractive things for a uh, for a person okay thank you okay um, now little and a bit uh, Mateo you can use little bit Okay, uh, a little bit and have that uh, uh, mean just a small amount, but you could say a bit and that would mean little as well. Okay, so they're, they're sort of exact. Okay, any other questions you guys? Yes. Okay, Halwani? Uh, let's see, let me find that real quick. Uh, say that one more time. Tumal Royal. It's the. Seven, uh, oh, Mount Royal. You, Mount okay, Royal. this is a, uh, uh, a, it looks like it's a mountain. Yeah, so um, Mount Royal. Okay, that is a mountain in Montreal. Okay, Mount is, uh, is short for, uh, for mountain. Okay. All right, and the uh, from what it from what I know of French, Mont uh, Montreal would be Mount Royal in English. Okay. All right. Um, great questions, everybody. We have uh, we've come to the end end of our class. Excellent job uh, at reading. Okay, and answering these questions, uh, I hope uh, you uh, you were able to learn some new words. Okay, uh, learn uh, uh, learn how to go back to the text and find answers. Okay, it's the same thing that you would do in uh, in your own uh, um, your own language, but you look for keywords. All right, and that would help you find the answer. Okay, thank you, you guys, and uh, I'll I'll see you in another class. Okay, thank you, see you. Bye. 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 Good night, all.